Some of them were blown up with grenades. Some were set on fire. The Lost Synagogues of Europe, a collection of paintings now on display at this Upper West Side kiosk on 83rd and Broadway. I really feel it's an important story to tell what life was like before the Holocaust. Artist Andrea Strongwater has painted more than 80 synagogues that were destroyed before and during World War II. And when the kiosk curator, Gerald Linus, approached Strongwater about displaying her prints here, he was at first nervous they would be vandalized. I feel terrible that we still hate people. I just can't understand why we do that. It's so absurd. With anti-Semitic attacks on the rise in New York, both Strongwater and Linus realized this is the exact right time to display the work. I think people need to be reminded about hateful uh, this, this was, that they were destroyed, and by whom, and for no good reason. The beauty of this kiosk, the art is right on the street. People can walk by and admire the paintings. But the artists and the curator hope people will not only enjoy the paintings, but think about what they represent. So many people have stopped, and not just Jewish people, but all kinds of people have stopped to look at it and really look at it, read it and read the captions and um, ask about it. It's good to remember how much beautiful history there is and how much we should all respect each other. And this project is personal for Strongwater. My mother's father, that was his synagogue, the Warsaw Synagogue. Really? Yep. Who knows what's going to happen next, but I'm not living in fear right now. On the Upper West Side, Allison Caden, PIX11 News.